this is Drew, um, Fish Whisper 83 on the RC Powers Forum, and this is going to be the build slash mod video of the DX6i throttle kill switch. Um, a couple of the guys on the RC Powers Forum were talking about how the throttle cut switch on the DX6i wasn't really that good for the electric motors. Um, there's one reason for that is because it's not really made for the electric motors. The gas engine is used so it kills the gas and then the motor shuts off and the thing is when you hold the button down all it does is turn the throttle off for the time you hold it down so not nor many normal people are going to be holding it like this while they're flying so what I'm going to be doing is taking this switch and replacing it in the slot um, should be pretty easy to do. I've already taken it apart. It's very simple. I already checked it out. The nice thing is it only uses two wires. So I'm actually going to be cutting one of these off and soldering it all together. Should be a very easy fix. Um, I'll be opening this up in a couple seconds to show you the insides on how we're going to do this. Okay, so here are the insides of the DX6i. Um, in order to get the casing off, all you have to do is take off all the screws out of these holes and there's about six of them two at the top and two on each sides so it's very easy to get these undone now when you take it off these um, I guess they're called connectors and everything they're going to be stuck to these couple ports so all you have to do is just take them off and then when you're done with all the modifications all you have to do is place them back in very easy now the switch here is just a two-way switch. It's just a press switch and it's just soldered in there. So all I have to do is just cut either the wires or unsolder them. Cut the wire down on this so it fits or I can just run it inside in here. Just make sure it doesn't short anything out and then we should be good. Um, now one thing is let's see if I get this off here. The back just slides off, and I have to do is just pull it out. Simple press switch. Now, the one thing is the two screws that hold this switch in are not compatible with the new switch that I'm placing in. It actually blocks it. So it actually will not go all the way down in. So all you have to do is take a little grinder um, and just grind those down until it'll fit. And what it sh and it's not really that structurally important, so that won't be a problem. Okay, so we're out here in my little workshop garage, and what I'm using is just a little rotary cutter, a little drill bit on it, or a little cutter bit on it. And all I'm going to be doing is just cutting away these little knobs. Should be fairly easy. I'm using this one first, and then I'm going to be using a more rounded 90 sharper angle tip that way I can actually get it a little flatter see how this goes So I got that fairly flat and I'll grind that down a little more. Now one thing, I want to put the camera down here because one thing I got to do is hold those wires back while I'm cutting. And I really don't feel like resoldering a whole lot today. Okay, so as you can see, I grind, ground down the little holes that held the screw on and it actually turned out really well. The part that actually holds the screw on doesn't actually touch the side so I was able to get it very cleanly there and the wires are no problem at all I just hold them back while you're cutting it so now all I have to do is move the switch change it out and then tighten it up and we're in business 
Okay, so here is the radio all finished, all set back together. Everything turned out very nicely. And personally, it looks a lot better with the regular switches than the button, in my opinion. Um, here I'm going to be doing a test to show you guys that it works. Um, just for warn you guys, I found, for some reason, when I put the switch in, when I had the throttle set all the way down, and my sub trims and throttle trim all the way set to normal, it was giving the motor power. I don't know why, but you can counteract this by putting in sub trim on the throttle. It gave me about 20... Here, I'll actually figure it out real quick. See there, it gives me a little bit of power, even with the throttle all the way down. So you just gotta keep... So at anything over 75 should give you no throttle with the button all the way back. And that is with the trim on the radio. Alright, so that is with the throttle trim set at normal. Now you can bring that back more but at that point you want to be using the throttle or the the trim on the outside of the radio instead of the digital for the smaller inputs in flight so I'm gonna put mine all the way down to a hundred just because I like having that extra movement in the stick when you first start out See how I, in here actually is a good show, where I have my throttle moving up and down, but I don't have any throttle. And this has actually saved me a couple times within the last five minutes where I've been going to hit the switch and I've accidentally hit it and it's been halfway. So, half throttle. Hit the switch and it shuts it off. So, it works very nicely, um, it's a very easy modification you guys can do, um, all you need is an extra switch and soldering iron and a bit of time and you have a good throttle kill switch. Hope this helped everyone and please comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, so this is my sister. She's been complaining to me to get her in the video. She's the one that flew the RC plane in the cast couple videos that I've had. Or that one of my friends posted. She has flown very well. And she has crashed a couple times now. It's the truth. Admit it. Yes, it's the truth. I crashed. Good. But not as bad as my dad. Not self destructed yet, right? I have not mm, done a power dive to a palm tree. Yeah, you just powered dived into the ground, didn't you? No, I didn't. Toys playing drop <laughs> off the sky! <laughs>